All right, to watch this video for February 2nd, um, the SPY is still kind of right in the middle of this recent range. I mean, if you picture the lows here and the highs here, we're sitting right in the middle. So we just go about our business as usual. And here's the list I've got for, oh man, you'd think I'd know what day it is by now. <laughs> the list for Thursday. All right, um, XGTI. Let me zoom in a little bit here. All right, so you can see the kind of the breakout of this tight range today, closing at its highs. Um, I actually was watching this as a potential gap play this morning, but then it did nothing, nothing, nothing. We got into post FOMC and then it took off. So I'm just going to go back and watch this for a follow through day tomorrow. IDXG, um, kind of the same thing. This one's still in a range, but a little bit of extra volume today. And this one can move nicely, as you can see back here and here when it does move. So I'm looking for a possible breakout of this range on IDXG. AEZS, you had the gap up and then you had a quiet inside day, but closing above its open. This one's still interesting to me for a potential long. BCLI, nice breakout of this uh, tight range today. Look to the left, there's not a lot in the way, so maybe a red to green in BCLI tomorrow. ETRM, huge move today um, and probably trading, yeah, 875 and after hours. So we're going to watch this for a follow through day tomorrow. Um, dry ships. DRYS. Uh, again, I got to take the big crazy spike out of there so you can see um, you had the most, I mean, what was the volume this day? 100 and do, 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 165 million yesterday. Um, gapped up a little bit today and then sold off on <laughs> 105 million is lower, uh, you know, lower volume than yesterday. That's that's a busy stock. Um, anyway, I, I don't have any kind of catalyst for this or any kind of price that I'm looking for. I'm just going to have it on watch because it's been so crazy lately. Might get a good setup in it. Um, MBRX. Let me pan out now so you can see these charts better. All right, so MBRX had a real nice pop back here, tailed off into nothingness, and then today a nice pop again. Closing well off its highs though, so it just kind of goes on the radar. DGLY had this big pop, now two days lower on declining volume, back into the eight day. Time to start watching this for a bounce back up. ESES, kind of the same thing, big two day pop, now two days lower on declining volume. Bounce watch. MTW. Um, big move here, three days lower, but kind of finding a range. That one goes on bounce watch, no trades in it today. Wrong symbol, PAYC, down like, uh, what, six days in a row, and today was a big range day on increasing volume. Time to start watching that one for a potential bounce. And then, and then that's just for a day trade, guys. I don't hold anything overnight. Um, and same thing with PBI. Sometimes these stocks get decimated during the day and they catch a nice bounce the next day. So. That's the watch list. I'm sure we'll find some gappers to keep our eyes on in the morning as well. Enjoy the rest of your night. We'll talk to you tomorrow.